since the release of OpenAI's new text-to-video AI model, we had taken a look at open source alternatives called OpenSora. Now, we all know that OpenAI's Sora model is the best text-to-video model that is out there by a landslide. Now, we have seen multiple different text-to-video outputs that are out there. And obviously, it's not going to be able to replicate the same sort of quality as OpenAI's model. But we have seen that it's not able to generate even like in terms of the output length as well as in terms of the quality. There's nothing that's close to it. And this is where I would like to basically showcase this new open source model called Mora. Now, we had taken a look at OpenSora, which is another alternative to Sora, and it was actually only able to generate one to three seconds and it lacked quality heavily. Not to rip it off, but it's just the honest truth. And we've seen other open source models that did, like, that wasn't even able to output even larger than five seconds. But today, I'm going to be introducing Mora, which is more like Sora for generalist video generation. Now, I just want you to take a look at this comparison video of Moro's output versus OpenAI's output of a short film. The same prompt was given, and it's basically the exact same thing as to what Moro is able to generate and what Sora is able to generate. So it's going to be able to display the same film as well as the same like ideas as well as the same images. So just take a look and you'll get a better idea. So let's take a look at this comparison now. On the left side, you'll see the demo for Shy Kids that Mora has provided. And on the right side, you'll see OpenAI's version of the short film, Airhead. And what I want to state is that obviously Mora got the inspiration from OpenAI's Sora output. But we can see that Mora was able to generate this exact same film. And it was even able to reach the same similar level as to what Sora was able to do in terms of the duration. We can see that they both have the same output. This is 121, this is 120, around roughly 80 seconds. And Mora still has a significant gap in terms of resolution and object consistency left to fulfill. But we can see that it is getting closer and closer. And it's able to do the same duration length as Sora is able to do. And we can see that eventually we're going to be able to replicate the same sort of output quality that Sora is able to do in the future with open source models. Now, this is something that we're going to be taking a look at throughout today's video as we explore how you can get started with Mora, taking a further look as to what you can do with the Mora models in terms of its capabilities and comparing it to Sora. So with that thought, guys, stay tuned and let's get straight into the video. Sorry for being repetitive, but this month we had insane partnerships with big companies giving out subscriptions to AI tools completely for free. These are tools that will streamline your business's growth and improve your efficiency. Just being a patron this past month, you were given access to six paid subscriptions completely for free. Not only do you access these subscriptions, but you gain the ability for consulting, networking, collaborating with the community, as well as with myself. You get access to daily AI news, resources, giveaways, and so much more. If you're interested, check out the Patreon link in the description below to gain access to these benefits. If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business, or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI, definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at an alternative to Sora, which is called Mora. And they're basically enabling the generalist video generation through a multi-agent framework. Now, since the emergence of the OpenAI ChatGPT model in November of 2022, what they'd seen is that generative AI model was reshaping the interactions as well as the integrations into various aspects of daily lives as well as industries. And while visual AI was something that mainly focused on image generation, video generation was something that many people hadn't really taken a look at. And obviously OpenAI had been working on Sora for a long period of time, I believe two years ago, but we saw that not a lot of emphasis was put into video generation. Now, notably, we saw that there were models like Pika, 
you had Gen 2, and they all had limitations in creating longer videos. But the OpenAI Sora model, which was introduced like legit just last month, was able to make a new era in terms of its ability to generate detailed videos with text prompts. Now, obviously, we know that it's closed source, and it's something that like obviously is going to pose a challenge for anyone to access. But now we have something like Mora, which is a multi-agent framework, and it introduces this new solution to address these limitations of open source projects in the text to video field having the limitations to output videos longer than 10 seconds. Now this is something that is achieving this competitive result in terms of comparing it to Sora in various video related tasks as well as showcasing its potential as a versatile tool in video generation. Now this is something that we're going to take a look at throughout today's video but I just want to simply state that if you are to go to the repo obviously we're going to take a look at these uh, demos but sorry let me zoom in a little bit but if you scroll down the code is not available yet and it's going to be coming out fairly soon this is a new project that is quite under the radar and not a lot of people know about it but once they do end up releasing some sort of news on this i'll definitely be posting a lot more information on this on my twitter so definitely stay tuned and now let's take a look at some examples of sora or mora sorry these are a couple of demonstrations of what mora is able to output these are 12 seconds and more. These are some of the videos that it's been able to output. And obviously the quality is going to lack because it has been outputted as a GIF. So just keep that in mind. If we are to scroll down, there's many other results. This are These are the input prompts to generate these output videos. If we scroll in a little bit, we'll be able to get a better idea. This is an input prompt, which is a vibrant coral reef teeming with life under the crystal clear blue ocean with colorful fish swimming around among the coral, rays of sunlight filtering through the water and a gentle current moving the sea plants. And we get a really good detailed video that is able to generate based off the prompts or based off each detail the prompt is describing. And we can see this with multiple different use cases. We have this uh, prompt over here that is generating a landscape of the mountains as well as a lake. We have another one over here, which is like a dune type of video, or it's like a futurist sci-fi kind of film generation. If we scroll down a little bit more, we have text conditional image to video generation, which is really cool to see. This is the input image. This is Mora's generated video. And we can see that Sora was able to generate the same type of thing. And obviously it's not the same quality as Sora, but we can see that it's getting somewhat closer in terms of a good image to video generation. And this is something that is an image of a realistic cloud that spells Sora. Based off of this image, is it going to be able to generate this video that Mora is able to generate? And this is Sora's comparison. Now there's extended generated videos. There is an original video. I believe this one is a little bit lengthier, which is around a minute, and it's able to extend it and create an extension of this video. Now, if you see over here, I'm not going to be like boosting this up like super crazy. Like, I'll be honest with this. This is not a good generation, but it's better than what we've seen with other models. It's able to extend the same clip and with Sora's output, it looks really, really good. Obviously, Mora is not that decent. So in this case, I would say that this is not the best use case to have Mora as an extended video generator. Now, if we go down a little bit, this is video to video editing. This is where an instruction is given to change the setting to the 1920s with an old school car. Make sure to keep the red color. And we can see that Mora's edited version looks really good. This is something that I thought wouldn't be able to be generated with Mora, but it actually does a good job in terms of changing the input of a video generation. And we can see with Sora's edited version, it does even a better job, obviously. Now, they, there is another prompt over here where it states that put the video in space with the rainbow road. In this case, it doesn't do a good job in putting it into space. Even Sora is not able to do it at that same level or that same input that the prompt is describing. Now, there's also another feature that they described, which is connecting the videos, where they try to merge different videos into each other. This is where we are able to see that these two videos are being set together and it's going to be able to generate this video. And we can see that this is a really cool feature that would be really useful for a lot of people that are trying to fuse different images or different videos together. 
and this would stimulate a good like new generation now there is another feature which is stimulating digital worlds this is where they take in minecraft moral stimulation of or yeah simulation of the video it is taking a grasp of what the video source is and it's generating based off of its model and we can see that this is the output this is Sora's output of Minecraft which just looks really nice and in this case this one looks like it has a lot of hallucination it is not able to output really really good but we can see that it does a decent job in terms of its generation now that's just a brief overlook at some of the examples that they have provided there's a lot more uh, examples on their Twitter. So if you're interested, definitely take a look at Mora's Twitter. There is a lot more to this and I will definitely be keeping my eyes out for future generations of what Mora is going to be able to do, especially when their code comes out. So as we saw in those examples, there's four different criteria as to how Mora is able to facilitate various video related tasks through different specialized agents. And this is where they have this multi-agent functioning to create these different outputs. Firstly, we have the text to image generation agent, and this is something that translates textual descriptions into high quality initial images. It's something that relies on deep understanding of complex textual inputs, and this is to create accurate visual representations. You have image to image generation, which modifies a source image based on specific textual instructions. So whenever it's interpreting different detailed prompts, like the one that we saw previously on GitHub, where it was detailing the coral reef, how there is water going to be moving and it's going to be moving the like coral reef. These are this is where the image to image generation agent is going to be used and it's going to interpret the detailed prompts and it's going to be able to make an output that is quite precise to make visual adjustments based off the prompt. You have an image to video generation agent, which is transforming static images into dynamic videos. And this is by analyzing the content as well as the style of the initial image to ensure that there is a coherent narrative flow. And it's gonna make sure that there's a visual consistency throughout the video that it actually generates. You have a video connection agent, which utilizes keyframes. And this is where it's able to take two input videos to create a seamless translation. Now, these are some of the agents that are being utilized in the back end. We can see that there's various steps. You have the prompt enhancement where it goes through the user. This user sends in a prompt to the multi-agent framework. They utilize the different large language models. It takes expressive description. It sends it over to the text to image agent, which is utilizing Dolly E, stable diffusion, as well as image gen from Google. It then goes into putting the image into an image to image agent, which we described. It takes that image to image agent, refines it a little bit, edits the image, sends it over to the video generation, which is using SVD. Pika as well as as well as generation two. This is the image to video generate agent, and then it sends it into a video. Now, obviously, there's other steps that you can take, and that's something that we saw previously. As you have a text to video generation, you have text conditional image to video generation. So in those cases, it utilizes different agents based off of the prompt, and it will categorize it based off of what steps are needed to basically generate that video output. So this is basically the generic flow or the illustration as to how you use Mora to conduct video related tasks. Now, there's a lot more to this, so if you're really interested, take a look at the research paper because it really goes in depth as to explaining how it's trying to replicate Sora's ability in terms of video generation. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you got some sort of value out of it. This is definitely an amazing tool that I truly recommend that you take a look at. It's a great alternative, in my opinion, the best alternative in terms of text to video generation. Obviously, we can't test it out until their code is out, but this is a very promising project that is replicating Soros ability. So I'll leave all these links as to what I used in today's video in the description below. Make sure you check out the Patreon page if you want to access our private Discord. This is a great way for you to access our subscriptions completely for free to different AI tools. Make sure you follow us on Twitter. Great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. 
Lastly, make sure you guys check out our previous videos such as Open Sora as well as the original Sora video. And we also have a lot of other videos that you would definitely benefit from. So with that thought, guys, definitely subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. And with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.